Hey YouTube, and welcome to our 55th Unity 3D tutorial. And in this tutorial, what we're going to do is, well, a lot of people are wanting the characters to move around, which is coming shortly, so don't worry. But, um, well, when we do it, they all run at the same speed, which is 6, and like, I can probably guarantee that Superman could probably run faster than Shao Kahn, or Bane, or Cro Killer Croc will probably be stronger than Spider-Man. So we need to make a system which can make all them have their own stats and speeds. So what we're going to do is create a script which will store stuff like their running speed, rotate speed, jump speed, so how high they can jump, um, what else is the damage, can they swim, can they fly, can they go in cars, can they pick up items, stuff like that. So it's really, really helpful. So what we're going to do is go to our scripts folder and in our entity folder, the animations, the entity one. We'll create a new JavaScript and we'll just call it entity stats, like so, and we'll open this up. So, as you can see, we have our scripts here. What we can do is, if we actually delete the functions because we don't need them, and what we can do is, if we create a, like many public variables or static variables which can be accessed from other scripts, we can say you are now this character go to this um, variable with this number so say we had static, static um, var we'll call it entity running speed I'll tell you why I called it running in a minute so say we have it as an integer because it's easy, you can have it the float if you like or a decimal but we'll keep it as a float um, so if we just organize it like so which we've done many many times before we can now justify what we are going to put in it so say for zero for Shao Kahn we'll put six the next one we'll say is the wolf so we'll put fifteen the next is the arachnid so we'll just say three I'm just guessing here by the way these need to be in square brackets by the next one is that's what order we're going to have our IDs on here so we'll just set three more just so we have it and that's it so I've called it running speed because eventually I want to be able to add the features in crouching, walking, running so we have some kind of stealth in our game too because I do love my stealth games um, so it'll create, create it as an integer or you can have it as a float simply by changing that and then it'll set what's inside it so if we were to save that and now what we can do is if we duplicate that um, we can change this one to rotate so how fast they rotate and I believe Shao Kahn's was 3 so 3 the wolf will probably be 2, the arachnid 2, everyone else 3 I don't know who these other ones are I'm just doing it but at the moment like I'm struggling to remember 6 of them so imagine when we have nearly 100 of them so it's a bit annoying. So what we can do is go down here and if we just note out this line here or a new tip for you I believe it's the slash and then a star sign and then everything you type under here will be automatically starred out as a note. So it's really really helpful. So here zero can equal we'll say Shao Kahn one can equal the wolf 2 equals arachnid, 3 can equal, I don't know, raiden, 4 can equal, mm, kind of croc, and 5 can equal joker. As you can see it goes up to 5 because it starts at 0, don't forget that. So we've got that and if you went, if you want to enter some more code here below what you can do is just press um, the star sign and the slash key again and it should start. There you go. Yeah. So that's a no, no, another note system for you if you want to do mass amount of notes so you open your star sign slash open star sign close star sign slash so really simple however imagine when we have a hundred of these across you don't want to be sat there going one two three four five six because that'll be really really annoying so databases are pretty much really really hard to link up to this but when I do figure out how, how to actually do it um, we are going to link it up to a database to make it far easier. Um, don't worry about if you get worried with the name database. It is like five minutes and you will be done. It is stupidly simple to create a database for what we want. So do not worry about it. 
I will try to find it freeware when I do so everyone can have it Mac and Linux and Windows too so um, what we're going to do for now is just create a little column kind of thing so before this integer I'm just going to make sure they're always always aligned so align all the commas up um, these things here if you don't know and what we can do is above this if we note this line out with the normal notes and tab in a lot what we can do is here we just put zero one two three four five so as you can see now we've got like we can look at the columns so column four go across to four his running speed is six his rotate speed is three so it's a bit more helpful for what we want but not still not perfect but it'll do for now so we've done this what else do we need well we need jump height so we'll change this to jump height and that's it so we can align this up again and that's it so jump height well Shao Kahn's was originally 8 which is just ridiculous so we'll keep it as 2 um, the wolf 2, arachnid 2, anyone else 2 everyone can be a 2 there we go but some of them may be different obviously now we can make this more extreme like flying getting cars and stuff but that's for another later so we've got that which is our basic script nearly done but still we've still got no way to select which number we want we could go over every character if this character equals true go to number one if this character equals two go to number two but that's a lot of if statements for everything we want or we could just have one character thing which says which character we are so we can switch between them because eventually I want to enter like a sandbox mode so you can choose any character you want to be how cool would that be so static var what we're going to do is create yeah, I should probably first. Create an integer which will like be static throughout our game and it'll be called current character. So every time we want to know which character we are, we can return this integer number and it'll tell us which one to be. So we don't not go in like um jokers having the wolf speed or something. So static var current character. If you don't understand you'll see in a minute. Um this will be an integer and equals zero. So our default character is Shao Kahn, is that correct? Zero, yep, it's correct, perfect. So, um, don't worry about these stars here either. On the notes, you don't have to put the stars on to be able to note it out. It's just something my editor does. And someone asked me a question my editor was, it's Notepad++, simply because I love the program. It's the best program I've seen, like, for how small it is, but yeah. So going back to subject, now what we can do is if we go to the place where we change characters so we can switch that integer to change our characters so who are we going to be hmm where, what's the best place to play it well the best place to put it will be our transform GUI here because we do change this is the only thing we change characters on if you switch levels and change characters it's simple enough as like um, when you start that level switch the character current character ID to something else but I'll show you that another day so if we scroll down to where we change our characters shall come here so now what we need to do is below this animation we could type hmm, entity underscore stats I'm copying and pasting entity because I sometimes struggle to spell that and entity where is it running speed not running speed sorry current character um, so we need to set this current character to zero because that's Shao Kahn. So if we copy this, paste it here and here, two for the arachnid and one for the wolf. So now every time we change character, that current character thing will change to each number. So zero, one, two. So now we will have the different s s speeds, uh, but it won't actually be using them in our movement script. So if we were to go back to our movement script, and just have a look at it a minute. Um, as you can see, here speed is used six. So we can make this variable equal the entity stats variable, but that's a lot of work. Like just a long line, then it could return masses of errors. So what we can do is if we just select speed, as you can see, speed's used three times in our script. These ones here we can't actually use at the moment because with the stats system it won't work because we'll always set the speed back to 6 
which is not what we want. Um, but that can be fixed another time. So if we just use our new note system to just note this out, just for now, because we can't use that. So our speed is here. What we can do is type entity, or we'll just copy in that because that's pretty much got everything we need. Entity starts, and so what I'm going to access inside entity starts is running speed. Entity starts dot running speed. We need to make sure we get this right. Entity running speed. And simply because it's an array, we need our square brackets. So which one of these are we trying to access? Well, our current character. So paste that in. But current character is a static variable, so we need to paste this back in. So it should go every time we move to the entity stats thing script to the running speed part of it and then in that array it should go to the current character which is zero so we should have zero current characters um, speed which is six so we should move normally fingers crossed so that's the speed one done so we can as you can see we can get rid of that now so we don't need that no more rotate speed pretty much the same so we can copy this paste it into this rotate speed here However, it's not running speed no more, it is rotate speed. Do we have any more rotate speeds? Nope, just down there, we can delete again. And gravity. Well, we have gravity, but gravity was our jump speed, or jump height. So if we paste that back into there, and we also paste it into here, what we can do is copy this jump height here, and just paste it back in as quickness. There. So now we should have no gravity left. Perfect. So now <coughs> that should be done. Um, <coughs> if you were to leave this in, um, you would notice no change because your speed would default always be six, six, six. So you wouldn't speed up or anything. But the slow down time thing will work, but you'll just move stupidly slow with it. So let's try it. Um, the smoke puff hasn't been implemented back into yet, um, but that will be fixed in the next tutorial. So as you can see, we can move around. So he jumps a little bit higher, but he still jumps as slow as a grandma, which we need to fix soon. So if we press our T and speed it up, so choose the wolf and we should see a massive speed boost. So as you can see, he's sped up. He doesn't jump as high, but he definitely rotates slower and speeds up. So if we select the shell can again, we slow down. Set the arachnid and do it again so it doesn't lag. As you can see, it's even slower. Shell cons a little faster, then the wolf just accelerates off. So that's it. So it's just uh, um, inventory still working. It's all good. So thanks for watching. Next tutorial, I actually can't remember off the top of my head what's going to happen, but it will be happening soon. We have a lot of bugs in our game approaching. We'll need a bug um, tutorial thing coming soon so we can fix it. So as you see, we've got a couple here and then a load more when you start the game up. But um, it will work. We could fix Shao Kahn eventually, but, um, Shang Tsung, but yeah. Um, so we'll be f adding our games, fixing the trees, fixing the terrible windows. Um, I don't actually remember if we set the cars to have um, speeds or nothing, so we could set up a profiling system for the cars maybe. So thanks for watching, I hope you liked it. Any problems, comment below, and see you next time.